G'day everyone, uh, welcome back to my little uh, home workshop. Today in uh, my workshop rambling, I'd like to discuss my 1K subscribers. So just a big shout out to everyone out there that um, helps support this channel. I really do appreciate it, thank you. Thank you for subscribing, thank you for watching my videos and liking and commenting. I'm really, really enjoying the Aaron Engineering channel and I hope it can continue to grow at a nice steady growth like it is now. So the giveaway, let's jump over to that and discuss the giveaway. So I'd like to thank Live Tools for sponsoring this 1K giveaway. And uh, that's, that's after and the team up there in Newcastle, Live Tools, their tooling supply company. So the first prize will get everything you see here, guys. We've got a Live Tools uh, baseball cap. Um, we've got the sticker set from Live Tools. We've got a magnet for the... Now the magnet goes on your machine. Uh, so if you've got a CNC machine or if you've got a manual milling machine or or a toolbox or something like that, you can stick that on the side. And it's actually a little magnetic whiteboard and it's got a erasable pen that's also magnetic that comes with it. We've got some Live Tools coasters. All right, uh, two Mentos because I ate the other ones. And I'm throwing in on top of that a little ER32 square collet block, which is brand new, never been used. And this free lathe tool, which was donated to me by Robert Brown up there so in New South Wales thank you Robert Robert accidentally had two of these sent to him and he thought look I'll give it to Aaron and he can do a giveaway with it so this is a lathe linishing tool now it's quite heavy so that's our grand prize for the 1k giveaway now for second and third place giveaway guys you just won't get the collet block or the lathe tool they will come out of the prize and you'll still get one of these set here so two Mentos magnet uh, you know, cup, coasters, hat, stickers, and a couple of my stickers as well thrown in. So what have you got to do to win this prize today? Okay, quite simply, just put your name in the comments. Okay, so I want you to use the hashtag, I'll put it up on the screen, hashtag live tools, and then put their motto directly below it, okay? And uh, you should see what their motto is. You would have seen it on the sticker, okay? And uh, please use your name, because that way then I need to reach out to you if you win the prize. And I'm prepared to send these, you know, the first prize all over the world and second and third. Okay, so last week I had a letter come in the mail and I believe it's all the way from Belgium. So let's go and take a look at this letter. And I think you know who it's from. So the letter today comes all the way from Belgium, of all places. And I believe it could be Mikel's uh, sticker. That's Rustinox on YouTube. So let's open up and take a look at it. There we go, two awesome stickers from uh, Rustinox. Thank you, Rusty. And the letter reads, Hi Aaron, it is with great pleasure that I send you these stickers printed on eco paper. Uh, I hope they arrived in good condition. Please do not hesitate to contact me if you have any questions or just to say hello. Wish you all the best, Rustinox. And greetings from Belgium. So thank you, Rusty. Let's get those up on the board now. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. And uh, I love the green colour. You can see how it really pops on the black contrast. Well, thank you, Rusty Knox. Um, I found a really good spot for your sticker on my board. If you haven't seen Rusty Knox, go and check him out on YouTube. Um, he's just done a really good build and it's pretty much like a, uh, whatever scrap he had laying around the house. So he had a bit of the C-channel, he had some steel cylinder tubes or steam pipe and he actually made a working uh, beam engine. Go and check it out, it's really, really good. And I love the uh, special design software he used, which was called BAD. And uh, as you know, BAD means blackboard <laughs> hated design and made it brought back memories of me uh, doing my school teacher training some 20 something years ago. So good on you Rusty, thanks buddy. Recently my good buddy Robert Brown reached out to me and he said, hey Az, do you know anybody who wants to buy a Vertex rotary table? Now considering I just bought a dividing head, I wasn't really uh, you know, in the market for one. I thought, but this is too good an opportunity to pass up. So I snabbled at it. Uh, thank you, Robert. I look forward to getting this Vertex table, and I think it's about the same size one that Maddie bought also. Uh, it looks quite big. It's probably nearly a bit too big for my machine, but we'll give it a crack. And if not, well, I'll probably have to buy a bigger mill one day or a bigger shop. So thank you, Robert. I look forward to getting that in the mail also. Check out this 
component here that my good buddy Warren Williams sent me. Um, I think you'll find it interesting. Now, Warren Williams uh, has his own engineering shop uh, up there in New South Wales. Uh, Warren does some interesting work and some, some of the stuff I can't disclose, but uh, it's based in the, in the gun, around the gun industry, so I can't go into it any more than that. But one of his little side uh, ventures is making this vacuum generator. And it's the sexiest little thing I've ever seen in my life. Now, Warren sent this to me for free, so full disclosure, and this is not a product placement ad. He did not ask me to do a video on it, but I just wanted to share with you because I think it actually deserved to get a bit of praise for it. So Warren has invented this, and you can see it here that it's sucking, well, it's actually pulling a vacuum. You plug an airline into it, and you set it up. Now, he uses it on his CNC machine, but theoretically, you could actually use this on your menu mill as well if you wanted to vac, yet vac down some um, aluminium plate or something like that. What I like about Warren's design is that it plugs directly there, the compressed airline plugs into it, and this, the vacuum switches here. So you flick the vacuum down, this, this button here, see this butterfly button? And when the, when the vacuum uh, reaches its potential, uh, so negative bar, it will pull this button down to, and it's a trigger. So it'll actually show you, oh, it's a telltale. So it will show you that your plate is vacuumed down. Uh, this is the suction line here. Now, what I was impressed with, Warren thought about, okay, you've got compressed air going in, you've got the exhausting compressed air. So he vented that out through a coolant pipe and he used it to blow away the swarf. So it's sort of killing two birds with one stone, so to speak. So I really like that design. So let's plug it in now and I'll show you quickly uh, of it vacuuming down, all right? Okay, we're at minus 0 0.8 of a bar here, and we're sucking this out of an old LPG bottle. So that's nearly evacuated at the moment, all the air inside there. You can see now the telltale button is fully depressed, which means I have vacuum in the system and I'm, and I'm good to go. Um, of course, if you were sucking down a smaller surface area, it wouldn't take that long. Uh, to turn it off, you just simply flick up the button. Okay, and now, you can see that the pressure is off that. I've got a one-way valve in the line and that's why it's not leaking down. I'll just take it back around to show you that. There you have it there, that's a one-way valve so no air can escape back out. Now this tank does leak down a little tiny bit but you can see I'm holding, you know, negative 0.8. It is slowly leaking down but it's not too bad and the other side of that's attached to my vacuum CNC fixture plate under there. But anyway, we don't talk about CNC on this channel. Now the other morning I went for a walk with my little uh, chihuahuas and I stumbled across this steel table that somebody was throwing out and over here in Melbourne, Australia, you know, a lot of hard rubbish, they put it outside on the footpath and hopefully the bower birds like myself will pick through it and take something home. So I quickly got all the way home, jumped back in the car, flew over and picked it up because it's just too good an opportunity. So it, it, this, this table's made from steel. Now it looks like they've made their own They've made a homemade a DIY barbecue or grill, and it's uh, all steel fabrication, and it's got a half a beer keg in it. Now, what I'm going to do with it, I'm going to obviously give it a good clean up. Um, I'm going to make that into my table for putting on my machine vices, rotary tables, indexing heads, you know, all that sort of heavy stuff will go onto this table from now on. And I've been inspired by the good old Mr. Pete uh, to, I'll probably end up making a crane as well for my table that I can pick the vice up, save me doing the heavy lifting, and also somewhere to store my bigger four-jaw chucks and set it down uh, below in that cupboard right there, okay? It's a little bit hard for me to get out and with a crane. Now, I'd love a skyhook, and I had one of those skyhooks and skyhook tables at a previous college, but they're just super expensive over here, and I'm not going to waste that sort of money for a hobby, okay? There's only so much I can get away with these days. 
Now, one of my recent rambling videos, I mentioned that my daughter was a police officer over here in Victoria. And one of my subscribers, uh, God bless him, uh, reached out to me and goes, listen, I heard you said that your daughter was a police officer and uh, I'm gonna send you something in the mail. Now I received it, thank you very much. I'm not gonna disclose who this person is. Um, they wish not to be named. Um, that's why I've blanked up some names on this here. But thank you so much. Emily was over the moon when she received this and uh, especially the badge. I'm gonna try and see if she can get a spare one to send back to you. And uh, the book is also awesome. It talks about uh, living with a police officer in your family because they certainly are challenging at times. Hey, thanks again for following on today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Once again, I thank you all for your support and uh, I'll see you on the next Aaron Engineering video. Have a good day, bye-bye. Old, old Stanley had a dog and somebody said, what do you call your dog? And he says, I call him Engineer. He says, what the hell do you call him engineer for? He says, well, every time I kick him in the ass, he makes a bolt for the door. <laughs> <laughs> Went to the pub with old Stanley on one Friday night, and he's wearing a tuxedo. I, God knows why, but he was wearing a tuxedo. Red stripe down the pants, dicky bow tie, the whole works. And we're standing at the local pub having a beer, and the waitress says, by Jove, sir, you're looking all pretty spiffy tonight. What are you doing? He said, I'm going out to a high-class brothel. <laughs> Went to a restaurant with old Stanley one night and the, the waitress comes up and she puts the uh, menu in front of him and old Stanley goes, lamb, ram, sheep or mutton, dog, cattle, possum, sausages, one, no damn fear, no, five, six or seven. <laughs> the waitress just stood there with her mouth open and went, what? <laughs> <laughs> That's it.